Then, folks, here for Yahoo Sports, here's three quick things coming out of UFC 303 on Saturday night. Number one, it's starting to look like Alex Pereira is a generational talent in MMA. Here's a guy who has been in the UFC for less than three full years. He's won titles in two weight classes. He looks like one of the scariest dudes on a roster full of scary dudes. He seems like he could snap his fingers at any time and go make a run at heavyweight. And here, he just blazed through Yuri Prohaska en route to a second round knockout victory to retain his 205 pound title. This is the kind of stuff that just really isn't done in modern MMA and Pear is doing it and he is making it look easy. Number two, let's show some appreciation for Danny Ige, but also Diego Lopez. I mean, Ige stepped in the day of the fight to save the co-main event. That is noteworthy. But also, think about Lopez. He went to bed Thursday night on wait for a featherweight fight. Then he gets told at 4 o'clock in the morning, yeah, your opponent's not going to make it. How about lightweight? He says, sure. Then he gets told day of the fight, actually, your opponent is out. How about a completely different guy, completely different skill set? He says, sure to that too. Goes in there and wins the fight. That's a dude with the right roll with it kind of mentality to be an MMA fighter. And finally, we have an official new prospect watch with Peyton Talbot. He goes out there as a minus 2,000 favorite, which is a tough betting line to justify. But he justified it, made it look entirely easy, barely broke a sweat in a 19-second knockout victory. This is definitely somebody you're going to want to watch.